Welcome back to the Skid Factory Quick Tech. Today we're going to talk about making your throttle work. Connecting that to this. This is something that comes up invariably when you're doing an engine swap in a car um, or um, even changing your car from linkage throttle like on an old vehicle to a cable throttle which is much much better. So to join that to that we obviously have a cable just a generic cable from a, oh, it's probably out of an MX-83 or something like that, a Toyota. So that won't reach because we've put a 1JZ in, for example. So that needs to be longer. This isn't a big deal. This is something anyone can do in their home garage. It's very easy to make your own cable. All you're gonna do is have the right bits. So the important parts that we have to hang on to are actually this because that's what connects to the firewall in this case. This is obviously going to vary a lot within different vehicles, but whatever your firewall is, whatever your, your anchor point is, you need to keep that. The other end, normally something like this, at least on Japanese cars, some GM stuff's got ridiculous looking plastic things that are not real good, but the the theory stands and you can often replace whatever you've got with something like that to give you some adjustability and also some longevity because plastic stuff doesn't really last very well, especially when it's bolted onto the top of a hot engine. So whenever I pull something apart, a car or whatever, I keep these and put them in storage for the reason that we can reuse them to make a new throttle cable. So. What we've got to do here is there's the old cable that's been crimped in there very gently it's a very light crimp so it's no big deal so you can just stick it in the vise here grip it firmly grab a pair of side cutters and just wrangle it out just like that so the cable is actually a, a, like a conduit with a teflon liner inside it and a plastic coating over the top in an automotive application, you should never ever use a cable that doesn't have a Teflon liner in it. It's something like, like bike cables for push bike ham, uh, handbrakes and stuff like that, don't ever use them. If they don't have the Teflon liner in them, you can have problems with the spiral wound inner making a, a grip on the, the outer conduit and that can hold your throttle open. It's very dangerous, don't use it. I wouldn't recommend using any of the really simple aftermarket hot roddy type setups either because they're not much good. Um, they're, they're not very resistant to temperature either. So what I use is you can actually just use that if it's long enough and you can cut it down to, your, to the correct length. Um, some cars have got very long throttle cables. Um, might be a bit difficult to find them, but you just have to go hunting through the junkyard or the wrecking yard or the braking yard if you're in the UK, all the same thing. But if you can't find a cable that's long, you can buy this outer. It's readily available from places like motorbike shops. Um, I think Woody said that go-karts use them as well, but I've previously always bought it from the local motorbike shop, which is not a huge uh, outfit by any means. It's pretty common to have this Teflon coated Teflon lined cable for use in motorbikes for things like throttles and clutches. So you can just buy a length of it. You can buy a meter, two meters, whatever. You can also buy the inner. That's some I've got left over. I can't find any outer left over, but basically looks like that, but new. So you can buy the inner as well. So the problem that you're up, up against then is you've got to have anchor points, which is this. So you, you can buy new ones of these as well, but they uh, I kind of like using the OEM stuff because it's got um, dust seals and that sort of stuff on it and adjusters. And for the previous explained reason is if that's what your firewall wants, then you've got to reuse that. So what we've got to do is get our anchor points and tie them to the, the throttle. Here's your throttle. There'll be an anchor for it on your engine. Pick the correct one of these, the right, there's a few, sometimes they have eight or 10 mil thread. So 
you stick that on there, get your anchor. Might just sacrifice this one for the purposes of the story. You can also reuse this inner if, you, if it's long enough, but one end's got to be sacrificed, of course. Normally the best bet is to, to knock off that cylindrical end that goes in your throttle for the reason that you can buy them. So we can replace that with this, which is an adjustable version of it. The two common sizes for these are six and eight mil or quarter and five sixteenth inch. Quite often the other end is something wacky like that that's designed to work with the pedal. Has little lock-in tabs and that sort of thing. So normally I would default to cutting off that end first. Pull it out. Set it aside. Don't lose these little bits. They're there for a reason. They, that clicks into the pedal assembly. So what we're going to do here is, for the benefit of this activity, I'll pull this end out. This one's plastic, so it's a little bit more fiddly. And the chances of messing it up are a little bit higher than metal, but I'll see what I can get away with. Done deal. We're gonna have some leftover stuff in here that you gotta pick out, just bits of liner and that. I've picked the hardest one I can find because it's got an angle on it as well, but basically the same deal as this. Pick it all out. Uh, what we do then is, because that's been crimped, it won't actually go in there very easily. So we measure up. 6.1 mil. Let's throw a 6.5 mil drill in it. Here's one I prepared earlier. And you just gotta hog it out a bit. Just take all that schmutz out of there. Oh, we're live. that will allow us to push the cable inside. No dramas. If you've got to do it to this end, same thing. Obviously metal, so it's going to be a little bit more resistant to it, but same deal. she goes. It's a pretty loose fit but all you got to do is get some vice grips and give it some light crimps around or I use uh, battery cable crimpers because I've got some. All it's got to do is not fall off. We'll forget about that end for the moment because we've already got one fitted here. Now what you got to do is just say just say we're going to shorten this for, for the sake of the story. Here's your anchor point, here's your pedal. It's a bit too long, so we've got to take a bit out of it. So we work out the length of this outer first. Bolt that on there, stick that on the firewall. Find the cleanest path. It's not necessarily like this or long. You might need to go around things, work it out and then figure out a point where you're going to cut it. Not hard to cut. You just got to cut through that conduit. This one's got a little liner on the outside of it, so we just need to trim that off a little bit. Got a very resilient liner on the outside of it. There we go. As I said, this particular one is plastic, so what you would do here is actually put a little bit of just super glue, generic name for it, uh, not near the end, put it on about 10 mil up, 
and you just slide that in there and that, that's going to be set hard. You actually don't even need to do that because what we're dealing with here is it's an anchor point so it's always going to be pulling against that. It's just to sort of just a bit of a, a safeguard against someone knocking it when they're in the engine bay and pulling it out like that because that would obviously pull the throttle on. So plastic, bit of super glue, done deal. You can also neaten it up a bit with some heat shrink or something like that on the outside of here if you want. Um, make it a bit more uh, waterproof if you use heat shrink with a glue inside it. Then we just refit our cable. As I said, I picked the hardest one to deal with because it does go around a corner a bit because Toyota something. Done deal. All right, so let's pretend this is our firewall again. We've successfully got our length for our anchor point. Now the critical lengths are the distance to the pedal. The pedal would, it's either already there or you're going to mount it yourself. So we'll just say that's it. Throttle body to anchor bracket. Again, you may have to make your own anchor bracket it, it, application specific, of course, but There's our anchor bracket, there's our throttle. I'll use the outside one even though that's not the right one because it's for cruise control. Let's just say we got it pretty right, but if your cable was out here somewhere, you can obviously trim it off. The other thing you can do is start with this. These come in multiple sizes, of course, as well. Um, this is a quarter inch, which is of course, slightly too big for my application because metric, but they basically come in quarter and five sixteenths, so six and eight mil, or just above that. Sometimes you've got to give these a little spread on a metric car because metric and imperial, you know how it is. Just to get it in there, sometimes you've got to throw a drill through it. We'll make it up as we go. Basically, we just open this up. Expose the hole, thread it through, lightly tighten that screw up. That's going to now fit in here. Doesn't really fit properly because I need to drill that out, but you get the idea. So that's our, how we work out our length that we need. So obviously leave this cable long because you can trim it off afterwards, that's no problem. You can't put cable back on, but you can trim it off. So once you've done that, you can then go check it all out, work it out. Yep, I've got the right length, no problem. Pull it back apart. Let's just make this up for a sec. I've got a bit hanging out, no problem. Tighten it up. You can see I've upset the the spiral, the winding of that conduited cable. Knock it off with a pair of side cutters. I normally just run that across the linisher because it can, it can make it difficult to actually refit. So knock that off so it's nice and smooth. I'll go into the large hole just for... Now we've got a cable that's going to work. We just need Woody to hold on to that for me. Don't be shy. Bop. Perfect. Very simple. You can adapt this concept to anything. This cable can be as long as you like. You basically just got to do it in the order that I've described. You can do it on this end if you want. As I said, don't throw these out. 
They're gold, very, very much reusable and very simple to do. So now you know how to make a cable, get out there and stick some, I don't know, six BTs into minis. I don't know, you work it out. Thanks for watching. Can we get rid of this old junk now? E-throttle for life.